What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak for iOS 13, iOS 12.2, 12.3.1 and so on. Full SSH has been achieved by Sparky on iOS 13 which is actually quite great. Now you probably remember that a few weeks ago he posted this picture in here with Cydia basically running on iOS 13 beta and this was a huge achievement at that time. It was the first jailbreak for iOS 13 and possibly even iOS 12.3.1 and so on and not only that but it also had Cydia. Now just a few hours ago Sparky posted yet another piece of important news for the jailbreak community. He finally got SSH running on iOS 13. He posted a picture in which he basically is connected as root to the iPhone via SSH. He runs the uname command and he proves the fact that he's running iOS 13 beta and then he runs the mount command in there and it seems to be working pretty fine. He does prove the fact that he's running as root and not as mobile so he does have special privileges which is actually quite good. So just to make things clear Sparky and Luca Tedesco have managed to basically achieve a jailbreak for iOS 13 beta which hasn't even been released as a final version yet. It's going to be a few more months before we see the final version of iOS 13 and they already got Cydia running in their jailbreak. They got a kernel exploit with TFP0 which enabled all this and now they have full SSH access and they can run proper commands on the uh, device. However in a conversation with me here on Twitter Sparky made it clear that there is no tweak injection for the moment so even though he has Cydia and SSH he still needs to work on tweak injection so the tweaks would load but this is definitely a huge progress especially since SSH allows you to run commands and programs and that is actually quite nice since you can explore the system even more and from this point the tweak injection is just one single step. He basically has to make either mobile substrate or substitute to work fine with the uh, device, bypass the security mechanisms so that he can hook into the applications and then of course he would be able to have a fully working jailbreak for iOS 13 and possibly iOS 12.3.1. Sparky also posted a few weeks ago a picture with Cydia running on iOS 12.4 beta so it's not only iOS 13 that is affected by this bug and it's not only iOS 13 that was jailbroken with Cydia and now as you can see with SSH as well. But although this jailbreak project is currently private Sparky did release jailbreaks in the past if you remember the Meridian jailbreak for iOS 10 he did release that and he worked on it for a few months and it was actually quite a stable and good jailbreak and he also released TFP0 exploits that we used in iOS 12 which were actually very very useful. So he's an active member of our community and definitely releasing stuff. Now I'm not entirely sure what is going to be the direction for this project but to see Cydia running on iOS 13 and iOS 12.4 and now to also see proper SSH running on iOS 13 which is currently in beta, Apple's latest and greatest, is actually quite nice and it does speak volumes about the current status of the jailbreak in our community. So jailbreaking is not dead and it's never going to be and we owe that to developers like Sparky who keep it running and keep on developing stuff. So yeah, currently iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3 are available, are signed by Apple. Apple, there have been jailbreaks that work with iOS 12.3.1 privately, but there are currently no jailbreaks available. So please keep on waiting and do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm GeoSnow and until the next time, peace out.